Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about the characteristics of an elegant lady. I've been watching a show, well I've watched a show called Orphan Black and it's about this one person who apparently has about 20 clones or more and there are about four or five of them who are sort of, you know, the main characters in this TV show and there are just certain things that they do to make certain clones look more sophisticated and I want to dive into that today. There is a character, the main character, the main, very main character, uh, Sarah. And she's very, you know, not so polished, not so not so put together she's she you know she has her hair kind of wild and she you you get you get a kind of gothic kind of feeling like a rock like she's into rocks or, or or whatever she just doesn't really pay much attention to what she does it looks like she doesn't wear makeup or anything like that and then there is her other clone who is supposed to portray like a soccer mom a housewife and what they do to portray this is they put on a sweater because we all know when you're stuck in the suburbs you wear sweaters if it's of course like winter or some kind of cold season and then they make her wear pearls like a classic one strand of pearls around her neck and the pearl earrings and the thing about this soccer mom is that she has straight hair she has a nice little bang and she's a bit cherry she uses a kind of voice that's kind of high pitch and soft and you know it's like hello and like you know that kind of way and then uh yeah she wears this purple eyeliner which is you know she has two children she has a daughter and a son and you know they're still pretty young so i think the purple eyeliner maybe is just to kind of relate to this daughter yeah so that's the soccer mom now it's time for the nerd the nerd wears glasses <laughs> she wears glasses she has like a dreadlocks she always has it back in a ponytail uh she's kind of quirky she doesn't look like she wears a lot of makeup her style her style is quirky she wears things like you know a lot of stockings she wears like short skirts with these really thick leggings are uh, yeah and she's pretty normal she you can tell that she's smart I suppose because people who wear glasses are supposed to be smart mm, let's move on to the character who I really want to talk about and that is the sophisticated uh, bitchy sort of uh, uh, I don't know like up there and the way they achieved this, that kind of persona, is that she's very, you can tell that her shoulders are back like this and she has her head like this all the time. She talks in a very controlled way. She has a short hairstyle and she has it very straight, very groomed, very there, you know. Uh, she has this kind of attitude like you know I'm better than you but she doesn't exactly say that she just carries herself in this way and she has style that is mainly the colors of black either black or white but mostly white she wears black and white and it's just this really simple clothes like uh, I, I saw her wearing this really nice white top and it was silk I could tell and uh, I was just I was just admiring it so much and saying wow I want to be like her I want to dress like that uh, because it's the same person the same actress in all of these parts and they just dress them differently they dress them differently and they give them these different personalities and I was so convinced this actress is amazing and I they're, they're just really important things that you can take from this 
the other character, the other clone in this is a detective and what she did to differentiate herself from the other clones I suppose is she straightened her hair she made it nice and straight mm. she switched from wearing leather to wearing like a trench coat she would wear office wear because she was a detective working as a you know in the police service and uh, mm. Yeah, she, her hair would be nice and straight all the time or put back into a nice sleek bun and you could just tell the difference there, you know? So overall, from all of these cloning and the way they dress them up, the way they... the characteristics, here are the things that I think are important. If you want to be... if you want to look polished, if you want to look elegant, I think the main takeaways are straight hair, very neat, very controlled, uh, minimalistic, minimalist looks like makeup should be almost not there, uh, style should be like you should have a signature color or a signature way about you. The the most elegant, sophisticated clone of all. She had really short chic hair, I suppose, because she just wanted to easily maintain it and maybe, you know, she's this kind of career woman. She just speaks in this really slow way and, and, and she has this like, oh, I don't know. She just talks in this way that makes you feel, you know, that she's better. Not that she's doing it in an obvious way, but you just get the vibe from her. And it's it's totally amazing. So straight hair, confidence, I suppose. That's important. You can tell that she's just super confident. She knows that she's in charge. She just has this really authoritative, authoritative way about her. And that's super, you can just feel it, you know? Mm. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. The straight hair, simple clothes, confidence, the way you speak, you know. Oh, so that's pretty much it right there. Let me know what you thought about this. And if you haven't watched Orphan Black, there are, I think, three or four seasons and you're going to binge watch all of it. If you have Netflix, Look up Orphan Black right away if you have not watched it and uh, get to binge watching it. And let me know your thoughts on this series. It's totally amazing. I, when I found out about it, my sister told me that she mentioned it to me before and I didn't really pay attention to it. And then when I watched it, I said to myself, oh my God, why didn't you tell me about this, mo this series before? And she said, oh, I, I told you about it, but you just didn't really pay attention. And I said, oh my god, no way. There's so much science in it. It's about, you know, cloning. It's about genetics and, oh, uh, it's amazing. I definitely will watch it again. I like watching shows again. And there was a part of it that kind of threw me off. But overall, it's an absolutely amazing show with an, with an incredible actress. And I love... Uh, Everyone who put together the show, they did a great job making the clones look different and it's believable. It's so believable and it's great little things to take away from shows like that. In all of the shows, I think, where people transform themselves into from, from like hair to hair, it's because they've done a makeover in some way. They have tamed their hair. Hair is such a big part of this, I think. Hair and makeup, the way you do your makeup. Is it obvious that you're wearing makeup when you do? Is it really simple? It, it just sort of brings out something more in you when you wear makeup. Uh, yeah, so I pretty much covered that already. So I'm going to go now and let me know if you watched this show, if you have watched it, what did you think?
uh i kind of really binge watch shows you know and uh it's it's uh something something i love to do it's like a little uh i don't know a thing that i probably <laughs> need to stop doing so much but i take great um i i, I enjoy it so um do the things you enjoy you know I'm not hurting anyone by watching binge watching often black and uh, what if and other shows that I'll probably talk about in another video if you want to know all of the shows that I've watched and the best ones and what I'm binge watching right now I will do that in the next video bye